Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Friday, July 14th, 2017, and I want to talk about Nafion, or Nafion? It's, I'm not sure. It's a trademark name that describes what is something like Teflon, but has sulfonic acid groups decorating it. And it is a common ion selective membrane for fuel cells and a proton selective membrane for some advanced batteries. Used to be a patented chemical but is now off patent and so has come down in price somewhat and for me at least it's the easiest to understand ion selective membrane the idea is teflon is chemically inert and it is highly hydrophobic and water doesn't permeate through it as a consequence it completely separates the two sides of the battery electrically and ionically but if you put chemistry in the Teflon to allow certain chemicals to permeate through and other chemicals not, then you have what's called an ion selective membrane. In the case of Nafion, or Nafion, the chemical that is decorating the polymer is sulfonic acid, which means that you have something that is prone to add and release protons. As a consequence, protons are able to permeate through the chemistry. One of the first times I really felt like I understood Nafion was when I read about a idea for collecting solar energy based on the permeation of protons across a Nafion membrane. The inventor of the super soaker made this scheme for uh, collecting solar energy based on proton permeation. So the idea was you'd put hydrogen gas in a loop and at each end of the loop you'd put a bit of nafion and an appropriate fuel cell catalyst. That fuel cell catalyst allows hydrogen to break up into H plus and permeate through the membrane. So if you just have high pressure hydrogen gas on one side of the membrane and low pressure on the other side, you can generate electricity. The hydrogen splits on one side, recombines on the other. In order to pass through that membrane, it needs to lose an electron on one side and gain it on the other. That gives you electric current. So how do you generate that pressure? Well, solar energy. But then you have to regenerate it. So then you have a whole another system, just like the first, on the far side of the loop. That generates the pressure at low temperature, where it's energetically inexpensive, and then the pressure generates electricity at the far end, where the heat energy from the sun has increased the energy gain from moving that proton. Clever as it was, as of yet it is not caught on, but it's a clever idea and I think if nothing else it helped me understand the function of Nafion in fuel cells and in batteries for balancing charge and for allowing protons to pass through while preventing electrical conduction. So if you like that kind of thing, if you like chemistry, if you like learning about membranes and batteries and strange dead-end technologies. Tune in tomorrow. Uh, tune in on Monday. We update Monday through Friday. We talk about chemistry, batteries, all kinds of technological progress here in the Allen Lab.